ladies and gentlemen. I was recently working on my winter scene diorama. I hope to release it soon. I'm working on the editing as we speak. But as it stands, I had to add a voltage regulator to it to power up an Arduino I'm using to light up a, a campfire that flickers, the LED flickers. So I thought I would spend a few minutes and uh, talk about this here, L7805C. I'm not sure if you can read that. Hold on. That might be more legible. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyways, the L7805C is a voltage regulator uh, that's widely used to provide a stable 5 volt output voltage. It's a popular choice among many hobbyists, electronics aficionados, due to its simplicity and its reliability. Now, obviously, by the name, it's a 7800 series of regulators, it's the most popular. And a 7800 series produces a fixed positive output voltage uh, versus the 7900 series, which is a negative output. The 7805 has an output of 5 volts, 05. Similarly, the 7809 produces 9 volts output, 7812, 12 volts, so on and so forth. The 7800 series goes up to a maximum of 24. Okay, the key features it can take a variable voltage up to a maximum of 35 volts. However, the recommended voltage for this here regulator is between seven and a half to 25. Um, and it has a maximum output current of one and a half amps. It comes with a built-in thermal protection to prevent overheating, uh, which increases its lifespan. However, if you feel it heating up too much, you can add a heat sink to it, uh, such as this one. Uh, it just attaches to it with a small screw. Now let's take a look at the inner works of the 7805. So there's three main components inside this small little package. It has a voltage reference, an error amplifier, and a pass transistor. The voltage reference is an electronic device that produces a fixed voltage, irrespective of the power, which is what we've been talking about. And the error amplifier, it continuously compares the output voltage such as the 5 volts in this unit versus the reference voltage, the input. The pass transistor adjusts its resistance, the internal resistance, to maintain the output at 5 volts. So how do you hook one up? So this first pin here on the left, that's the input pin, that's the voltage in. The middle pin is the ground or the common pin to your circuit, and the output pin on the right side will give you the stable 5 volt supply. The uses, uh, powering microcontrollers, it's perfect for powering an Arduino boards such as, such as what I'm using it for in my diorama. It's used for prototyping on breadboards. I'll quickly show you a simple circuit. And for DIY projects, used to power LEDs, sensors, various electronic components. Again, I'm hooking up an Arduino to power the LED to make the LED flicker in a campfire. So let's demonstrate uh, the 7805. Let's demonstrate this voltage regulator. I have in front of me here a breadboard. It's already wired up. Anyways, we have the input and the output, the positive and negative. I have a couple of pins there. Let me just show you what the connections are. As you can see, we have, I've set it at 12 volts from the power supply. Now the power from the positive goes to the input of the voltage regulator, 7805. The middle pin over to the ground, to the negative. And the right pin has a little wire attached to this post just for the reading. So let me hook up. So let's just hook up the multimeter to the output. And you can see the output. Just for a change of scenery, I'm going to increase the voltage to 24 volts. As you can see, the input is 24 volts. And the output, lo and behold, 5 volts. Anyway, there you have it. 
an introduction to the L7805 CV voltage regulator. It's a handy component. I bought 10 of them off of AliExpress. I'm not going to provide the link. It was very inexpensive. It's a handy component for your electronic projects. It ensures a steady and reliable power supply. And I think that's about it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button. Only think it's worth it. Subscribe if you think it's worth it. And share your thoughts on the comments below, positive or negative thoughts. Anyway, I'm the fellow hobbyist. Stay curious, keep tinkering. And until next time, happy hobbying. That's corny. Bye.